We are on the campus of the Texas State Technical College near Waco. We're here for the reactivation ceremony for the 1st Battalion, 143rd Infantry Regiment here on September the 11th, 2010. We thank you for coming this historical day and participating in our reactivation ceremony. I would like to welcome Major General Jose Maorga, the Adjutant General of the State of Texas, who is officiating our ceremony today. Congressman Chet Edwards, representing the 17th District of Texas. Texas Representative Charles Doc Anderson. The Mayor of Waco, Mayor Jim Bush. The President of TSTC, Dr. Elton Stuckley. Mr. Robert Hawkins, Vice President of the 143rd Infantry Association. Major General Thomas Cactus, Adjutant General of Alaska. Brigadier General Joyce Stevens, Commander, Texas Army National Guard. Brigadier General James Brown, Deputy Commander, Texas Army National Guard. Colonel Brian Ray, Commander, 71st BFSB. Colonel David Medeiros, Commander, 56th Troop Command, Rhode Island National Guard. Lieutenant Colonel Douglas O'Connell, Commander, 1st Battalion, 143rd Infantry Regiment, Airborne. Chaplain Jeremy Sturm, Command Sergeant Major Gordon Cho, State Command Sergeant Major for the Alaska National Guard. Command Sergeant Major Joseph Klosterman, 56th Troop Command, Command Sergeant Major, Rhode Island Army National Guard. And Command Sergeant Major Jim Broyles, Texas Army National Guard, Command Sergeant Major. September 11th will be known as Patriot Day and National Day of Service and Remembrance. To observe this day with a moment of silence to honor the innocent victims who perished as a result of the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a moment of silence. The uncasing of a unit's color signifies the beginning of a chapter in the life of a military unit.
Vince Sergeant Major Joe Harrow now presents Texas Attorney General Jose Mayorga the unit's colors. General Mayorga now presents the board Gage Commander Colonel Brian Ray, who in turn presents them to the Battalion Commander Doug O'Connell. Colonel O'Connell now presents them back to Command Sergeant Major Harrow, the custodian of the unit colors. Good morning, and thank you for attending today's uh, reactivation ceremony. What a wonderful opportunity for all of us to be assembled on the Waco campus of Texas State Technical College. I want to extend a special thank you to Dr. Uh, Dr. Elton Stuckley, Mayor Bush of the City of Waco for your outstanding hospitality. Thank you, sir. very fitting that the city of Waco is hosting this ceremony as it is recognized as the ancestral home of the 143rd regiment. In September of 2009, the regiment officially entered carrier status as part of our Texas military forces and was assigned to the 71st Battlefield Surveillance Brigade, 36th Infantry Division. The hard work standing up the battalion began much earlier in December of 2008 when the initial command team of Lieutenant Colonel O'Connell and Command Sergeant Major Paul Calloway began the process of interstate organization and implementation. Their task organization includes companies from Texas, Alaska, and Rhode Island. Ladies and gentlemen, this multi-state battalion is the only airborne infantry battalion in the entire Army National Guard. I know that each of the soldiers in formation today will represent themselves, the regiment, your communities and the states of Texas, Alaska and Rhode Island National Guard in a superb and professional manner. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for these great soldiers. To the officers, non-commissioned officers, and soldiers of the 1st Battalion, 143rd Infantry <coughs> Regiment, congratulations on a job exceptionally well done. Thank you for your selfless service, and thank you for your service to your state and your nation. Thank you for your hard work in preparing for this most important mission. Thank you for choosing this profession that is unlike any other. You are dedicated, loyal, discipline and you believe in a cause much greater than your own. There is no greater cause than giving of yourself for the benefit of another. You truly embody the Army value of selfless service. I want to close by encouraging every one of you to be strong physically, mentally, and spiritually. Physical fitness alone does not make a good soldier. It takes an ideal combination of physical, mental, and spiritual strength to see us through the hardest moments of our careers, especially family separations and deployment. We owe it to ourselves, to our families, to our Army and to our nations to cultivate these, these strengths and to make Army strong more than just a slogan. Soldiers and family members, 1st Battalion, 3rd, 143rd Infantry Regiment, thank you for what you do every day for the Army National Guard, your home state, and the United States of America. <laughs>